The Seoul Museum of Art is currently hosting an exhibit called North Korean Project that sheds light on art produced in the world's most secretive regime. In celebration of the 70th anniversary of Korea's independence from Japan's colonial rule this year, a number of galleries nationwide are featuring contemporary artworks by North Korean painters. Created under the socialist regime, North Korean art is distinctive in nature and is strikingly different from its South Korean counterpart. 예술가들이 어떻게 북한에 대해서 상상하고 있고 그런 화두를 어떻게 관람객 이 전시를 보는 관람객들과 나눌 수 있는지에 대해서 이 전시를 준비하고 하게 되었습니다. The exhibit includes artworks by North Korean artists and installations by South Korean artists exploring the theme of inter-Korean division as well as pieces by international artists to offer a fresh outside perspective. In particular, oil paintings by North Korean artists are drawing stares from visitors. After liberation, the Korean peninsula was divided under the trusteeship of the U.S. and Soviet Union. Ever since, the two Koreas have walked drastically different paths in every aspect of life, including art. The South Korean art scene was heavily influenced by capitalist states, while the North Korean art community was deeply affected by the socialist camp. One of the key characteristics of North Korean art is the absence of abstract paintings. Ever since the birth of abstract expressionism in the 1950s, abstract art has become a dominant mode of expression in the global art world. Its absence in North Korea can be understood in the context of the propaganda and ideological purposes that art serves in the North. Deeply rooted in socialist realism, North Korean art takes on a direct narrative rather than leaving the interpretation to the viewer. Prevailing themes include revolutionary ideology and happy lives of everyday North Koreans in a socialist paradise. There are some landscapes, but with specific geographical references. Songbyuk produced propaganda posters for the North Korean regime before he fled to the South in 2002. Due to the specific purpose that art is expected to fulfill in society, he says freedom of expression is virtually non-existent in the North. Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un, like the sun is so beautiful, we are always happy. We always want to see the sun like the sun like the sun. That's not the issue of art. Given the significantly limited options for artists, what paintings are most appreciated in the North Korean art scene? North Korean artists may not be at liberty to choose what they want to paint, but they are experimenting with a broad spectrum of medium and techniques. In fact, they created jewel painting, a new genre of painting using powdered stone. Onjengan yuaga pangrak de subakyok janaya. Kronde, Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Il, Olgur, Kurin, Yuaga, Kronshima, Toro Naganda. This is a 
돌로 만들면 되지 않을까? 각지에 있는 칼라프라 돌들을 다 모아가지고 돌을 얇게 갈아서 어, 작업을 하기 시작했어요. 그럴, 그것을 이제 북한이 보석화라고 부르고 그러니까 국제 특허를 받아서 이제 북한만이 하는 장르가 이제 보석화라고 있고. Despite delicate techniques and fine craftsmanship, North Korean art is often underrated due to its heavy ideological content. 비법들이 다 똑같아요. 똑같고 화려하고 작가가 왜 이렇게 그랬지 하는 걸 은밀점으로 이제 던져줘야 되는데 북한 작품 앞에 서면은 아잘 그렸다 어떻게 사람이 이렇게 그리지 야 너무 멋있다 거기서 끝이에요 북한 예술은 정부의 통제하에서 선전화 독일 따름이에요 After a 70-year divide, there is a widening gap between South and North Korean art. Maybe one day, artists of the two Koreas will be able to paint the joy of reunification. <laughs>